Hello everyone! For the very first time, I'm going to be filming a video in my PJs <laughs> because this is part of the haul. Now, um, funny story, I don't know if funny, but this was not meant to be for me. I did not pick this up for myself during the live video. Somebody else did, but then um, at some point they decided they didn't want it and they asked me to get them out of the cart and there's a point where for me removing things that you have claimed is easy but then there's a point where it's just almost impossible and i forgot i forgot so they ended up here they uh fit me so now mama owns them so it's um it's separate um if you were not part of that live video oh maybe i need like a stool or something where i can step and you can see this this is the t-shirt. Can we just take a little moment to appreciate the scene? It's fantastic, right? Now I can't remember exactly how much this one was, but I think it was $10. And then the pants, 12. But I'm gonna need some help to show you the pants because I'm wearing them. Maybe I'm just, um, all right, wait. I just took the camera off the tripod and I'm going to improvise. It works, right? I mean, we're friends here, we're all family. So let me show you again. This is the t-shirt, it's beautiful, gorgeous, right? And the pants have Simba heads all over. How beautiful is that? I also love the bow here. I'm loving them, so I'm very happy. I feel very lucky. I'm gonna put you back on the tripod. I feel very lucky that they were my size, right? Now, um, same situation happened with another PJ, so I'm gonna show you that one now. This guy, I did not have any plans of getting this one for myself. Absolutely no plans. But, um, again, this one is my size, so it's super cute, and I decided to keep it for myself since it ended up in the cart and I don't need it and I was going to return it, but I just can't bring up myself to returning it because everyone needs these. <laughs> no, you don't, but my heart does. Some of you might be familiar with my mom. She always helps me during the live videos, so some of you might have seen her in camera. Um, others may not, but you know she exists if you if you participated um, in the live videos. So uh, before I keep showing you what I got for myself, I'm going to show you three things that she got for herself. Now, why do I want to show this? Well, maybe some people are curious to know, but this is the thing. My mom was not a Disney person. I mean, she would enjoy going to Disney like most people every now and then. She definitely did not dream about Disney or going to Disney. Um, in between trips it was something like oh let's go as a family and she would enjoy it but once she went back home like she didn't she didn't go through the disney blues let's just put it that way and she had no disney merchandise whatsoever well guys we are turning her we are turning her she is slowly becoming part of our team <laughs> and now she buys at least a little something from i think from every live video she doesn't buy a lot but now she has a plushie she has mickey t-shirts she like i do not recognize my mom <laughs> i feel like such a proud mama <laughs> So I want to show you what she got. Now the first thing, I mean boring, it's not Disney, but in case you're curious of knowing what um, other things we find and what she decided to get for herself, this uh, cosmetic bag, I would call it, very very sparkly. This is not exactly glitter, it's just like the fabric is like that. And this was $5. Now she did get this one. The Daisy duck neon t-shirts so the coolest thing about this t-shirt is that on the front you see her like this and then on the back you see her back i love it when they do things like that so she got this one it was in the uh, pj section but i mean i guess you can wear it during the daytime as well it is twelve dollars and from like judging from what i'm seeing right now i think it is a little bit oversized 
and she also got a set of PJs. Never in my life did I think that my mom would wear, would wear Disney PJs. I'm like, I can I do not recognize her, but I'm so happy. So she got this one and I love it because the um, Disney sign is embroidered, but the threading is metallic. And I don't think the camera is doing it justice. Maybe like that. This is so beautiful. And then the pants have polka dots and they are also metallic. Are they glittery? Mm, I don't know. They have a little bit of a texture, but yeah, they are they are a little bit foily, a little bit metallic in the same colors as the Disney letters. So this is beautiful. How much is this? $19. So that's what she got. And now let's move on with the rest of my shopping. Guys, I don't think I had ever purchased so many PJs in one store, but Primark has such a great selection. I think every single time we go there, it, it, they just have so many good things. It's so hard to pass on them. I did need a few PJ sets, a couple. I ended up with more than a couple, <laughs> but this one, it's so pretty. Look at that, it says Mickey Mouse. And it is super, super soft. I really like it. So the top part is white off-white and um, full of Mickey heads, like gray Mickey heads. And then the back is uh, the opposite. So it's gray with white Mickey heads. This is a very nice, it was $17. I can't wait to wear it, but because I ended up buying PJs that I didn't think I was going to buy and then I ended up keeping a couple of sets of PJs that I definitely had no intention of buying. I haven't been able to open this one. Like, I can't bring myself to open this one because um, I know it's wrong. <laughs> I know I shouldn't. But I also can't return it because that was my first thought. I thought like, okay, I'm just gonna return this one. But I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I know I'm gonna end up opening this one. Um, but I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Let's see, maybe I'm strong and I, re I will return it. I don't think that's happening. Because their PJs are so amazing, I have already used two of the sets and I love them. So I'm gonna show you this. Um, I was thinking about washing it before showing it to you, but I didn't have time, so <laughs> if it's dirty, I'm sorry. <laughs> this one, Marie, and she is very cute. I'm not usually a fan of animal print, but I mean, I don't know, Disney's kind of getting me into that. I was not a fan of tie-dye, and then Disney is slowly getting me into that too. I guess all it needs is a Disney character for me to like it. <laughs> so now I have this one. I'm gonna get you close so that you can uh, maybe see the material a little bit better. That, it's like wearing a throw. It's like wearing a really nice, cozy, blanket oh that girl is so pretty she is the sweetest thing and the pants look like this yeah so if i wear the pants on their own um you would never know that it's disney there's no hidden mickeys or anything trust me i looked <laughs> i spent my sweet time looking for hidden mickeys there aren't any the other set that i already tried on or actually wore uh, is this one so the pants are just striped like this and it has this cord here to tie it on the front and The top is where the special part is right so this is the top and he has a mini mouse here now this one is like a thin sweater material and it's soft but um, I guess like lightweight when you think about sweaters. This is more of a lightweight sweater material I think this one is oversized. I got an extra large because I wanted it you know bigger, but um, Yeah, I think it's it's oversized Or maybe I don't know if I should say necessarily oh mm, yeah no it is 
I'm sorry. So many thoughts went through my mind as I was saying that. I wanted to be sure that I was giving you accurate information. But yeah, no, it is oversized. But I'm thinking, so the first thing that I thought when I tried it on was like, oh, I'm going to exchange it. But this material makes me think that it's going to um, shrink in the washer or in the dryer. So I'm gonna put it in the uh, in the washer and dryer. Like I'm actually about to do that right now, and then later I will give you an update. So I will post something here or I don't know, pop in the video or something and let you know what happened. If it stayed the same or if it shrunk. Hopefully it does that. Uh, should I say that? I don't know. Other people might have purchased the right size, so maybe it... I'll just let you know what happens with mine. I couldn't help falling in love with some Mickey uh, sets that they had. Ah, that's what sparked the love. That's how I ended up buying so many. So how can I show you this? Ah, I removed the hanger, so okay. I'll do my best. So this one looks just like the Thumper one. I think you were able to see that style a little bit better there because it was hanging from the hanger and it comes with shorts. So let me show you the shorts. They are so beautiful. Black bow and this part here, the very edge here is super like nicely finished. I love it. Um, this is, what material is this? I think I looked it up at the store and I didn't even know how to call it or how to pronounce it or something. Didn't I? I don't know. Oh, here it is. I'm just gonna show it, hopefully. Hopefully the camera will be able to pick it up. Let me um, get my face off the camera. Okay, I think you can see it there. Viscose, viscose, I don't know, that thing. But if you have no idea what that is, it basically feels like a button-up shirt. That's, that's the material then. But like um, a thin one, kind of like a cooling one, you know what I mean? And I also bought another one. And this one, the shorts look like this. They are black. Now this one is more like t-shirt material. It has a bowl and this is like the finished edge on the bottom so you can see the difference. How cute is that? I love it. And then the top, the top is striped. It is striped like this and it has a beautiful embroidered Mickey. Um, it's not embroidered. I'm sorry. It's not embroidered. It's like puffy paint. That's what it is. It would have been really nice if it was a patch or embroidered, but it's not. But it's okay. It's okay. It's beautiful. I really love it. And uh, oh, I haven't been giving you prices, right? Okay, I'll give you the price of this one. It was $9. What a bargain, right? Like that's like walmart prices this very exciting item is the last piece of clothing and look at this it is a dress it's a sweatshirt dress or i don't know how else to call it it's it's like a very very long uh, sweatshirt that's what it looks like and look at the colors this is so beautiful so 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 incredibly gorgeous Oh, this, honestly, this is what made me uh, do a live video from Primark when I was not supposed to. I hadn't planned, it was not in my plans. Oh, there's a hair. Sorry about that. This guy is $20 and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> this is so pretty. <laughs> Can't wait for colder weather so I can wear it because right now that's a hell no. All right. We can look at bags now. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be my channel <laughs> if I wasn't buying bags. Oh. <laughs> and the first one is the tote bag, the uh, reusable bag, I guess. But I can also, I think I'm planning on wearing this one as just like the tote bag when I wear that dress because it matches perfectly, obviously. Then this is the uh, like the carrying strap. It says Walt Disney. Let me see if I can show you the material. 
because it was hard for me to describe it's kind of like thick linen or maybe canvas i don't even know but i love it it was seven dollars and i want it for the pool if i'm honest pool and the beach i just think it's perfect it's the perfect size uh, to take towels and everything so can't wait to use that one it's time to show you the backpack and i wanted this one when primark first opened and they had the like earth friendly collection i don't know the name they had this one and it sold out super fast so i missed out on it it is um 14 pounds so i don't know how much i paid but i mean in dollars but um, look at the zipper pulls can you oh wait how can i do this i love it love it love it love it when it's mickey mouse and it's the same for this front pocket uh, mickey mouse is embroidered this is a silicone patch and then this is also a silicone patch the shape and the handles like this shape is very familiar to me I, I see it a lot in the parks there's another brand i don't know the name i think it's kind of hard to pronounce some european brand that um is trending a lot and they have this kind of backpacks and now i have my own version <laughs> well not my own but primark's version <laughs> of this backpack and i like it i really like it so i'm happy with that one then they also had from that graffiti collection another purse that i definitely don't need but i got so i do feel bad about owning this one <laughs> i don't know if i'm going to wear it a lot or not but it is so so beautiful it is like a camera bag and that is the problem for me because it's too small and i can't fit everything that i usually carry um this has a thick strap and that's one of the things that i love the most including this this thing here three different rings oh gosh i love that and then a coin purse and this is a big size coin purse compared to my hand we got the logo so i mean i had to right i had to the zipper pool is beautiful too it says walt disney and what else can i show you want me to open it why not why not let's open it and see what it looks like inside it has this baggie here but it's just black black inside but it does fit phone it does fit maybe sunglasses I don't know if you put those two things. I don't think you can put a wallet, but uh, maybe a chapstick. So I don't know if that's gonna be enough space for for me because I carry a camera with me almost every day. So I don't know if that's gonna work for me. But for now, I have it. Not just that. Turns out that as I was walking towards the register after we finished the live video, I came across this guy. Somebody just left it there unattended. And it is the uh, card case. They didn't have any more because I asked. I was going to buy a few just um, thinking ahead. Because I was thinking about showing them to you. And if you had purchased that bag, maybe you'd like this. Since that bag is small. So maybe a, a card holder is something that you'd need. But unfortunately, they didn't have any more. If they have more, by the next time that I go there, I'll pick up a few to see if you guys want them so it has some slots here for cards same up here and oh gosh that the logo zipper pool beautiful so you have a separate compartment here and um i don't know how much this one is because um like i said somebody left it there and it didn't even have uh the uh, the tag the price tag so i don't know i would have to check the receipt but i'm sure it was i mean if the bag the bag was 16 dollars, did i mention that so i'm sure this was under 10 dollars. also right next to the registers uh obviously during the live video we never got to um to that part but they have reusable uh bags and it's this one with mickey's oh, mickey sketch and um okay first thing that i love about it 
it is a very big very big very spacious you can fit a lot of things in there second thing it has two different sets of handles so you it has a shorter one and a longer one if you can carry it on your shoulder if you want to carry it on on your shoulder i uh, removed the tag so i can't remember exactly how much this was but i think i think it is five dollars and it looks the same front and back so um if this is something that you guys want then maybe next time that we're live you can remind me of this and i can get them for you but they also have a tiny one a tiny baby one that <laughs> looks like this and it's super cute right and it also looks the same front and back so look at that and this one the baby one has a zipper has a zipper can you see that oh let me take my face uh all right so you see that it has a zipper and um, i also don't have the price for this one but if that one if that other one was five dollars i think this one was probably like three dollars and i have a couple of things here the first one may be like very boring for everyone because it's not disney but some exfoliating gloves um trying to fight cellulite and somewhere i read that if you exfoliate before doing like um massages then it works better i don't know i'm gonna try it and i got two pens so let me let me put this back here on the side and show this pen it's a mickey head and it's beautiful and this guy was only 250 and then the other pen that I got is Minnie Mouse and a poor girl had an accident so the bow fell off so I kind of put it back on for the video but it's, it's about to fall. This guy is also $2.50 and it's a very nice like they write so smoothly and good. Uh, I had already purchased one in the past but I needed to get another one because they just write good. They're good pens. Don't know if they last a long time or not, but I mean, 250. I needed it. <laughs> and that's it, guys. That's it. Oh, <laughs> the bow <ball> fell. <laughs> and I was saying that that's it, guys. Uh, that's everything that I purchased from Primark. I want to thank everyone who participated in the video and everyone who was watching and everyone who's been watching after the video ended. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!